Hello and welcome back. In part 1, we have covered so far the names head, tail, mean, variance, median, table, and bar plot commands. Okay, now let's move further. And in this video, we will focus on the following commands that include mosaic plot, dim, or subset command. So let's start the video. The table command can be used to tabulate any number of variables that you provide for example to examine which participants have smart across each gender. We would use the following expression table type the name of table put a dollar sign and now add the column of that table that is gender comma space cdc dollar uh, sign and column name and put the enter key here we can see the column labels of 0 and 1 recall that one indicate of respondent have smart at least 100 seeders or the row referred to gender. To create a mosaic plot of this table, we would enter the following command mosaic plot, and under the mosaic plot command, type the table command and then type the name of table and then select the right column that is gender comma cdc dollar small hundred and press the enter key on the right hand side you can see the mosaic plot of gender that is male and female and the smart hundred column values that is showing in zero and one. Zero mean haven't smart hundred seeders and one mean have smart more than one hundred seeders. We can also do the same thing in two step process. Simply follow the step as I am doing. I am type here a smart and assign this variable to table now i am using the mosaic plot command and under mosaic plot command i am now typing my variable name that is smart and press the enter key on the right hand side you can see again the mosaic plot okay now the question is what does the mosaic plot reveal about smarting habits and gender you can clearly see on the screen the mosaic plot reveal the information that the number who have smart hundreds of years in their life times are more than the female or simply you can also say the females are less in percentage for small hundred seeders in their lifetime okay now let's check how are things about data so as we mentioned that our store data in data frames which you might think of as a type of spreadsheet each row is a different observation like a different respondent and each column is a different variable the first is the gender health second one is the exercise any and so on we can see the size of the data frame next to the object name in the word space or we can type the command that is dim command and type the name of the table 
under the dim command that is cdc and press the enter key and the dim command will return the number of rows and columns now if we want to assess a subset of the full data frame we can use row and column notation for example to see the sys variable of the 567th respondent use the format cdc or now type it here 567 respondent and comma and then add six and press the enter key and you will get 160 this 160 actually shows that the weight of the 567th respondent persons is 160 we know that weight is the sixth variable because it is in the sixth entry in the list of the variable names you can see one two three four five six and let's cross check it by typing the command names cdc and press the enter key and you can see one two three four five six to see the weight for the first 10 respondents we can type cdc or big bracket 1 colon 10 comma 6 and you can now see the first 10 entries of the weight so basically in this expression we have asked just for rows in the range 1 through 10 and r uses the colon to create a range of value so 1 colon 10 is span to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 or you can see this by entering 1 ratio 10 like this so finally if we want all of the data for the first 10 respondent type cdc weight bracket 1 colon 10 comma press the enter key and you will get first 10 entries of all the data values of first 10 respondent by leaving out an index or a range we didn't uh, type anything between the comma and the square bracket actually we get all the column as a rule we omit the column number to see all the columns in our data frame similarly if we leave out an index or range for the rows we would assess all the observations not just the 567th or row 1 through 10 so you can try the following expression to see the weights for all the 20,000 respondent fly by on your screen so type cdc and leave the entries of the row and now type column that is six one press the enter key and here we go you can see it's just like a flooding of data set so just to read all that column six re represents the respondents weight so the command above reported all the weights in the data set as an alternative method to assess the weight data is by referring to the name previously we type names cdc to see all the variable contained in the cdc data set we can use any of the variable name to select item in our data set so type cdc dollar sign and type weight and press the enter key and you can again assess all the data values related to the weights of the respondent so the dollar sign as i mentioned before tells the r to look in the data frame uh, cdc for the column card weight since there a single vector we can subset it with just a single index inside the square bracket 
We see the weight for the 567 respondent by typing CDC dollar weight 567 that's 160. Similarly for just the first 10 respondent repeat the same command and type here 1 colon 10. So the command above returns the same result as the CDC 1 colon 10 comma 6. Both row and column notation and dollar sign notation are widely used. So which one you choose to use depends on your personal preference. Okay, now let's move to the last part of the video that is subsetting. It is often useful to set all individual cases in a data set that have specific characteristics. We accomplish this through conditioning commands. First consider the expression like CDC dollar sign name of the column gender equal to M and press the enter key. And now type again the command CDC dollar sign select the column name that is age put greater than symbol 30 and press the enter key. So you can see these two commands produce a series of true and false values. There is one value for each respondent where true indicate that the person was male by the first command or older than 30 by the second command. So suppose we want to stretch just the data for the men in the sample or just for those over 30. We can use the R function named subset to do that for us. For example, type the command. First type the name of the variable that is M data that is assigned to the command subset and under the subset command type the table name cdc and now type the condition cdc and gender equal to m and press the enter key you will create a new data set called m data that contains only the men for the cdc data set and in addition to finding it in your workspace alongside its dimension, you can take a piece at the first several rows as usual by typing the command head and m data. Sorry, actually, I name the table as m date just to cross check. Type here head command and cdc and here first six entries are male female male and female and here you can see first row is related to male now the seventh respondent are male and here you can see two to six respondent are female that exclude in this data set as well as on the in this environment tab you can see the m date table that you create and here you can see the nine variable again and the observations are 9569 and when you click this table or the data name you can see all the values if you click this cdc tab you can see CDC values, data set values. And uh, let's correct the name of the M data to M data. You can use the upper arrow key on your keyboard to type or repeat the previous command. So let's correct the spell that is M data, not M date. So it is also possible to tell R to keep only specific variables, which is a topic we will discuss in the future lab.
for now the important thing is that we can cave up the data based on values of one or more variable so to do that you can use the conditions either it could be a and condition or it could be an or condition so let's type it here m mean male underscore and that represent the condition over 30 so this is the variable name that is assigned to this subset function and now i type the table name that is cdc and i want to stress the data related to gender specific only of males and now I type the AND operator to add an other condition that is CDC and the age is greater than 30 and press the enter key and now repeat the same command but with different condition M underscore or underscore over 30 that is a variable name that is assigned to the subset function type the table name type the table column which you want to stretch that is gender that's equal to male and now type this expression that is used as an or condition cdc age greater than 30 and press the enter key and now you can see we are actually creating the further two subset of our main data set table cdc this subset showing the 7244 observations of all the nine variables and this subset showing the 17591 observations of nine variables the difference between these two subset is this subset actually include all the gender whose are male and and their age would be greater than 30 not less than 30 but in the second subset of the data all the gender should be male or age would be greater than 30 it means if the gender is female but the age is 30 then condition will be true if the gender is male but age is less than 30 the condition is again true but if both like the gender is female and the age is below 30 then that value is not the part of this data set so what i am saying is if any of these two condition is true then the answer would be true and any of these two condition is true then the answer will be false for use uh, for adding the and operator both of these conditions should be true and for or operator any of these condition would be true so let's check it out by typing the head command and the name of the variable that is male underscore and press the enter here you can see the first expression showing the male and their age value should be greater than 30 and here you can see the gender male and female and their age value is greater than 30 okay in principle you may use as many and and or clauses as you like when forming a subset okay let's conclude the video by completing this exercise and the exercise is create a new object called under 23 and smart that contains all observations of respondent under the age of 23 that have smoked 100 cigarettes in their lifetime.
so now you have to write the command that was used to create the new object as the answer to this exercise okay so let's type here okay let's first clear this window and now type here under 23 and mode this is the name of the variable and that is assigned to function of subset and now I have to first write it down the name of the table that is CDC from where we actually import the data and now I am typing the conditions CDC dollar column name that is age and age value should be less than 23 and CDC and smart 100 should be equal to 1 and press the enter key that's all and to just check the data set type the head command and now add the variable name that is under 23 and small and here you can see all the ones remember zero means haven't smoked hundred seedrets in their lifetime and one mean hundred seedrets are smoked sorry more than hundred seedrets are smoked in their lifespan as well as the age of the person would be less than 23 okay just to cross check further type under that's the actually variable name we bracket and type 1 colon 620 observations mode 100 and here you can see all the ones how should I get to know these are 620 observations on the environment tab you can see I have 620 observation with this subset uh, data of CDC and nine variables when you click on it you can see all the details related to this variable name okay just to check the age repeat the same command but type it here age and in this data set values you can see all the age values are less than 23 okay so in this video tutorial we actually learn the three new commands of our language that include the subset command dim command and the mosaic plot command i will see you in the next video thank you